The original intent of the C days um, or the seven period day was to give students an overview of what's expected for the entire week. The schedule that we have currently is a schedule that's been negotiated with the district and the teacher union, and so this is what we have. You know, as the principal, I need to communicate the, the original intent to the staff is that it needs to be more, more of an overview and not necessarily designed for a complete lesson that needs to be delivered in 30 minutes or less. Yes, a majority of students don't like the seven period day, but it's not that big of a gap between those who dislike it and those that like it from the student responses that I've gathered. We need to go and, and look inside of this and what is it that we're doing and how can we make this a better experience now for students um, and teachers for that matter, because teachers are, uh, you know, they're um, working really hard too. It's going to be conversations that I'm going to you know, start having with staff um, as well as uh, I'm, I'm going to be meeting with the students of the Principal Advisory Committee on Monday, and I'm going to throw this out there with them as well. So January 7th is that day that we're going to come back in a hybrid model. And that's a long time from now, right? And um, who knows what's going to happen and what's going to transpire. As we look into doing education differently right now, we need to let go of some of those things that might not work and not try to fit that round peg in the square box right now because it's completely different. And, and I think that's what you're seeing with uh, your seven period day is that I think that, uh, you know, old habits are hard to break. And, and as we, it's still transitioning, I think, and teachers, me as a principal, I'm still adjusting and I'm still letting go and I'm still trying new things. And I think it just continued time will make all of that happen.